We got a lot of news today, a lot of it stemming from Raw. We actually have some matches for both nights of WrestleMania, as well as some matches for nights that have not been determined yet. So for night one, we have Bobby Lashley versus Drew McIntyre with Cedric and Shelton banned from ringside, Sasha and Bianca for the women's title, and Bad Bunny versus Miz. For night two, we have Roman Reigns, Edge, and Daniel Bryan. We have Asuka versus Rhea Ripley for the women's title. And we have The Fiend versus Randy Orton. No stipulations announced yet. And we also have at some point on one of the other days, New Day versus AJ and Omos and Braun Strowman versus Shane McMahon. They did not announce a day for those two matches yet, but we got something now. I guess once they sold all those tickets for both nights, now they got to advertise what's on each night since the remainder probably are buying one night. A lot of the tickets, you know, went to scalpers. So they bought they would they would have bought both nights also. But most when I checked tickets a couple of days ago, it was almost identical. Like not only the the tickets that were left were virtually identical. So it's essentially like everyone who bought tickets bought it for both nights. Orig- from the very start. And there were tickets left still, but um there weren't a lot of tickets left. Uh but there were there's still some, so. But um, you know, but I, I, there were I checked some of the the secondary sites and there were a lot of tickets on them, but there were going to be a lot. I mean, that's not unusual or anything like that. That's to be expected. But there were no, you know, the get in price was. But that's also the the when I checked the get in price was so early. It, it's not really that applicable yet. You know, so you really can't tell that that was before you would you could really get the demand. But I could see that a lot of um, uh, ticket brokers would probably buy with the idea that there's only twenty five thousand tickets, and probably less than that. You know, if they're setting up for twenty five thousand, then you're probably talking about twenty thousand tickets, twenty one thousand tickets, because there's a lot that are, you know, that you know, going to be given to friends and corporate partners and things like that. So um, that in theory is too few and the demand will be greater than supply and if the g- demand is greater than supply that's a great night if you're a secondary ticket holder because you can sell it at you can resell it at a higher price but right now we don't know that because there's so many uncertain things about you know telling selling tickets to something of this nature so also the announcement in storyline on the show They revealed that Charlotte, and this is not a storyline, but it's part of the storyline. Charlotte is out with COVID. And for whatever reason, and it's weird because Andrade did a tweet today and he said that four more days, which would mean that she's had it for a little while. Of course, she's been off TV for a couple of weeks. Only a week. She was on TV two weeks ago. So she's been last week. She missed last last week. TV was the first one she missed. The one two weeks ago was the one where she was where she talked about wrestling Asuka. Well, sure, but she could have gotten sick the next day. She could have gotten sick two yeah, days yeah, later. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's yeah, been right. about two weeks. He says there's four days left, but for some reason, they seem to be moving as if she will not be working WrestleMania. Yeah, that's what's really weird is is if she's he had says it for four more days. If she if if she's had it for a while, uh, why would she not be in WrestleMania? That doesn't even make sense. So there's got to be more to the story, unless she's really sick. If she's really you know really sick and. They don't think she'll be recovered in three weeks. I mean, three weeks, it's like... And, and she might be, but I thought that well, was Well, there's really two sh- TVs left, basically. And yeah. so if she's pretty sick and they're thinking, well, you know, I mean, she may not she's make it back si- for if, next Wednesday, then at she, most they'd have a go-home show to shoehorn her in for a three-way. So maybe they just figure, eh, it's not going to happen. I guess. But usually, I mean, when it comes to stuff like that with, with COVID... Usually they go with the idea. They 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 don't take people off off pay per views off of it unless they're not going to make it in in. It's usually two weeks, and this is three. But whatever. Anything new on Andrade aside from his no non compete? Uh, no non compete. No, he's got yeah, no non compete, and that's pretty much it. Yeah, there's nothing else. Um, so he's free to go and do go wherever he wants to go, and he'll have plenty of offers. He'll probably pretty much. I would guess he could pick wherever he would want to go i mean there's a lot of different factors uh out there um you know i mean it's a weird it's a weird time cmll still isn't running regularly uh ring of honor 
I don't know if they want to add expenses right now when they're not running regularly either. Uh, so, um, and he's, you know, his good friends, you know, the Roosh and Dragon Lee, especially Roosh, is in CMLL. Um, Roosh in theory is in AAA, although he hasn't been in a long, long time. And they're not running regularly either. Um, you know, AEW is obviously number two thing. New Japan, you know, they would want him for sure, but New Japan is, you know, cutting back on costs because they're, um, they're unable to sell a lot of tickets and that's their, you know, their, their business is selling tickets and selling merch and both are way down because of COVID and because they're running at small capacities and not drawing. So it's a weird time. AEW is, fine but AEW just added you know christian and big show and i don't know what the situation is there you know with if uh i mean i'm sh i i would think that he could go there and that they would take him for sure um but i don't i shouldn't say for sure but i would think i would think that that they would but you know i don't know what the situation is with them as far as how much more they can add to their roster uh financially Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week, you can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.